The name of this exhibition is Seasons. It's an exhibition of nature illustrations, both metaphoric and otherwise. It was born out of a personal work that I was doing, just sort of exploring different themes, using seasons as a metaphor. And as I was working on it, I started also noticing work by other artists, colleagues of mine, and members of the Illustrators Club of Washington. And it seemed to be something that would make a beautiful show in the gallery. So I thought opening the new semester with a show about seasons would be appropriate. The work in this show is all illustration work. Um, you'll find book covers. There's several book covers here. You'll find poster illustration. There's several greeting cards, children's book illustration, and then some personal work as well. I think that this is a beautiful show. One of the things that I always enjoy about the exhibitions that we have in this gallery is the diversity of the show. The diversity of subject matter, the diversity of styles, the diversity of media that people use. It includes all kinds of different media. There's acrylics, there's digital work, there's pen and ink, there's crayons, colored pencils, gouache. I think we've got just about everything in this show. I think it is nice, especially for our students, to see that it doesn't have to always all be about digital, that there are other approaches to, to doing illustration. And also the diversity just in terms of each of our interpretations of the seasons. We even have a former student who not only contributed to the show as part of an independent study project here, but she also designed the promotion for it as well. Some pieces it's very clear what the particular season is. Other pieces are a little more obscure and it might be a little more difficult to determine what the artist's intent was or which specific season maybe they're trying to interpret. The four trees that I contributed to the show, it, again, it was something that really started out just as an idea in my sketchbook. And I was really just playing around with using the tree and taking it through four different seasons and, and playing around, exploring different color combinations and not just the obvious. And it also, there's a certain metaphor there about family as well. So there are um, metaphoric themes in this show as well as um, liter more literal themes. I have three pieces in the show. One is called Fall, one is called Winter, and one is called Summer. Summer was actually the first piece that I created in this series, and all three of these pieces were created specifically for the season's show. But the summer piece was the one that I started with, and I'm not sure why. It's not because summer is necessarily my favorite season, but I found a face that I liked, that I wanted to work with, that I thought had sort of a quality of innocence which I think I sort of associate with the summer seasons. So it was really, I think, finding that particular face that the rest of the image sort of grew from incorporating the daisies and the flowers into the hair and around the facial area, just making it look very summery, uh, fairly light colors, pinks and light blues, just to enhance that sense of summertime and that, that light sort of airy quality that makes me think of summer and hopefully makes the viewer think of summer as well. The artwork I did here was for my holiday greeting card this year. And again, these were all images that were originally from my sketchbook. It just goes through a year in my life, I guess, and things that were going on, the roses blooming in the summer, the leaves falling in the autumn. I just decided the whole season's greeting idea um, could be told using all of the seasons. The fall piece is the female form. It actually happens to be an Asian female head surrounded by trees and fall-colored foliage that is typical, typical of the uh, fall season. This image in the front, the lachayim, means to life. 
I love that it's an iris that's just coming up in the spring and it was pouring down rain and I know it's not Christmassy, but that's what inspired me. The winter piece, this was the last piece that I did of the three and I found a wonderful image of branches that were all ice encrusted and I thought that was going to be a perfect way to represent the hair. And then also I had to find some sort of foliage or uh, florals that would work with the winter season and of course that's kind of tough to do so I ended up working with the poinsettia plants because that's what we typically associate with the winter time. I also incorporated in the hair of that image some metallic brooches, one large diamond brooch midway in the hair and then some smaller metallic brooches with little ruby or red stones in them to also just sort of enhance the hair, play up that part of the image and just make it more visually interesting. I sort of handpicked every one of these. Chris Wysong's work, uh, Chris did that as an independent study project with me, so I'm very close to that. Susan Spangler's work, I've known Susan since I was in grade school. I was so surprised to see her exploring the same kinds of themes that I was. Eric Westbrook's work, you know, I've, I've admired his work for years and years. Uh, I really, everyone's Carol Schwartz's beautiful nature drawings, and of course my colleague Patricia Johansson. I always ask her to participate in every show I do, and she always just uses it as a point of departure and comes up with something more magnificent than the last time. Rob Wood's piece, The Cruelest Month, is, you know, just such a beautiful interpretation. I can't choose a favorite. They are all just very special.